this old man here with this instructional video showing you how my experiences have gone trying to export an OBJ from Lightwave via 3D Exchange importing it into iClone. What you're going to need for this instructional video to follow along is iClone 5.5 3D Exchange Pipeline 5.5 and Lightwave 11.5 although it's presumed that this will work in 9.6 and higher. So what I want you to do is on your desktop once again we're going to go create a new folder and we are going to name it LWOBJ out. That's a Lightwave Object Out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get Lightwave up into Modeler. We're going to create a box, simple object. It doesn't have to be perfectly square. We're going to just going to modify it a little bit and move it up so it's just tad bit centered. And in polygon mode, what we're going to do is just start selecting polygons. So we've got that polygon selected. We're going to go down and change surface. Take it off of the default. I'm going to name it red. Apply it. Okay. See it turns red. Now we've got to rotate it around. Doesn't matter which way you rotate it. Deselect that polygon. Select the next polygon, change surface. We're going to call it green. You can see where I'm going with this, right? It turns green. Deselect it, rotate it around again. Select the surface, change surface. I'm going to call it blue. Change the surface color to blue. select rotate again and any guesses what this will be called if you said yellow you are correct I'm gonna change it to yellow now the other two surfaces at the bottom we're gonna change it to black And for the final surface, the top, we're going to change it to white. So as you can see, we have a plain cube here that has six surfaces, each colored according to their name. So now we're going to go to File, Export OBJ. We're going to choose our folder that we created, LW OBJ out, Lightwave Object out. Uh, file name 1, I guess it's choosing the layer that it's on, but we're going to call it Cube. Save it. And then we're done in Lightwave Modeler. Next thing we're going to do is go into 3D Exchange. We're going to open the file. We've got the cube loaded into 3D Exchange. We're going to back up a little bit more. Next thing you do is you go export to iClone. We're going to call it cube. We're going to keep all these as their default values. It will default into the destination folder of your props because when you import anything into iClone 3D Exchange it will save it as a prop. There are tutorials that show you how to export props into avatars and characters and whatever you want to export them to but this is not that one. So we're just going to load up the cube object from the set props customs folder 
bring the cube object in center stage and you can see as we rotate it around that it maintains all the proper surface colors that we have assigned in the materials requester. Well that's about it covering the export of an OBJ file from Lightwave opening or importing the OBJ file in 3D Exchange Pipeline and exporting the object as an iClone prop. This old man is about to go have his nap. We'll see you next time.